Добрый, Добрый день. Добрый день. Добрый день. Добрый день. Добрый день. Добрый день. Добрый Almost finishing the documentation of the crimes and uh, bury all those who were killed by Russians. Uh, I, th I think that in a week time we will finish all this process here in Russia. Uh, more than 400 civilians were killed here during three weeks of occupation. Let's go that way. Uh, and you know the number? Uh, for more than 200. And that's every third killed in the region. Uh, how were uh, people identified? Were family members brought in? How do you do that with DNA uh, testing? How do you? Uh, at the beginning, uh, maybe we have. Uh, let me introduce you to our uh, priest, Otec uh, Andri, mm -hmm. and he will explain. Katanya, Katanya, bolo jak my identifikovom tila, i što moramo zrobiti. Проводиться тест ДНК и в спочилих, и у родичей, и потом дивляться, чи есть співпадение. Багато тел просто не чужие понявечения. Um, so, at the beginning we did it uh, just identifying the bodies and look at uh, the uh, like faces, clothes and so on, but now lots of, uh, lots of them were um, in very bad conditions, so we did DNA test for the alive relatives and now we are waiting for the result and uh, then we will uh, check the matches when, when it matches the DNA from the dead bodies and then we will identify. Під час цієї окупації дуже багато людей було розстріляних на вулиці. Багато людей намагалися евакуюватися транспортом. Яка втекла в 14-му році з Донбасу. They escaped from Donbass in 2014 from that period of war. І жила тут поруч. And lived not oh, nearby no. here. Їх, Same family. Yeah. Їх розстріляли з танку з крупнокаліберного кулемету. She was shot from the tank inside the car. Загинула вся сім'я, згоріла заживо, крім одного батька. All, all the family were burned inside the car, except the father. Батько залишився живий, але в нього ампутована нога. Uh, the father is alive at the moment, but without uh, one leg. Ось, і я особисто бачив, коли ексгумували ці останки з цих тіл. And I saw uh, this, when these bodies were exhumed. You were here? Yeah. Другий yeah. приклад. Yeah. Серед тих людей не було для росіян ніякої загрози, ці люди нічим не спровокували цю смерть. Between those people, uh, these people, they didn't provoke Russians to be killed. Всі ці люди загинули не під час бойових подій. So all those were killed not uh, during the fights. Їх розстрілювали як в тирі. They were shot like on safari. That's, a, that's hard to hear. Have you, what is the connection with the, the church in Russia, with your, with priests in Russia? Is the connection between Russian churches, is there any connection? Нам дуже боляче, що патріарх Кирил благословляє цю війну. For us, it's very hard to see when Kirill uh, the, um, Bless. blesses yeah, bless uh, this war. This is what I'm asking about. From yeah. priest to priest, Ukraine to Russia, th there is truth telling. But the patriarch is not so interested in, in the truth. Ми намагаємося їм пояснити, але натикаємося на глухоту з їхнього Тому, на жаль, He's drunk the Kool-Aid, the patriarch, is that it? Yeah. Okay, folks, sorry, we'd just like to have a, maybe a private yeah. moment with, yeah. with Edge and Bono and Father and, and yourselves. Yes. So if you could all just... And it's the job of the church to preach the truth. And you're speaking the truth.
Yeah, we just have to be in some silence and with yeah, with you. was stayed under the occupation all the time. He, he was stayed? Hidden. Yes, he was hidden mm -hmm. and he came back alive. And for us that's okay. a big miracle. Yeah, 